Meanwhile, the Polish Minister of Climate and Environment believes that it is untrue, the lie repeated very often by representatives of the opposition, that energy prices in Poland are increasing dramatically. It has absolutely nothing to do with the truth. A year ago, energy was 20 percent more expensive. Apparently, Minister Henning Kloska made a mistake when interpreting the data, because the opposite is true. The average price of electricity bills has increased by about 20 percent compared to the previous year. The minister's manipulation is all about falling energy prices on the wholesale market in Europe, which have nothing to do with the amounts on Polish people's bills. July's electricity increases will only be felt as the heating season has begun and evenings are longer. Bills will go up for everyone by a couple of percent anyway. We asked Poles how rising electricity bills are affecting their household budgets. I am terrified. I can compensate for any price increase with savings. I'm sure I'll feel it because it's higher by a couple percent. I'm on my own, and on top of that I'm a pensioner. The government passed a bill on Tuesday to maintain energy prices until the end of September next year. According to the opposition, the government's decision was not made to help polls and is only related to the upcoming presidential election. When the campaign is over, elections will be held, the old will return. But in this bill, does the government freeze energy prices and help hospitals? No. Schools? No. Kindergartens? No. Nurseries? No. Local government institutions? No. Why is it for nine months? Because in the first half of the year, there are to be elections. And then July, August, September, it is low consumption. And so these fees will not yet be so high. But in fact, it's just a campaign rhetoric. Wholesale energy prices in Poland are among the highest in Europe. The state of affairs is due to the need to meet the EU goal of achieving climate neutrality, which in turn will entail a major financial effort for our economy. In view of this, the government has developed an unusual strategy. The climate minister argued in the parliament yesterday that wind energy can be balanced by solar energy, without adding that renewable energy sources always have to be supported by, for example, coal or nuclear due to their dependence on the weather. But the minister's explanation is downright absurd. Energy from wind and energy from the sun are two important complementary legs, because it is so that in Poland, often when the sun shines, the wind doesn't blow, and when the wind blows, the sun doesn't shine. That's the kind of beauty or characteristics we have, and this energy is complementary. If you don't understand, I will show you during the next session some kind of graphs on how energy from the sun and from the wind give the same volumes for 12 months. One could even laugh, treating this statement as a joke, if it weren't for the fact that judging by these kinds of statements by the politicians of the December 13th coalition, it appears that the government has no strategy to help polls in connection with the energy transition.